I'm with Mike Herman from Tall Man Toys and Comics. Mike, tell us about your business. I thought we'd be open just on the weekends and it's blown up to now I had to move to the old chocolate factory downtown. And I mean, I've got people banging on the door to get in here, it's crazy. Well, I always say we don't love comic books here. We love the people who love comic books. Ah. So I always, I sell them for cheaper. I'm not one of those guys that's like, in two years, this is gonna be worth $50. So I'm gonna charge you 10 for it now. I mean, we're cover price, we run, run discounts all the time, so. Yeah, what, what about for you? And what spurred your interest in comic books and collectibles? Uh, I mean, basically, you know, I'm, I'm an old vintage guy. I love, you know, Transformers, He-Man, G.I. Joe, the, the vintage Star Wars. That's where I really started. And then I just started seeing that, that so many demographics are just tied together on these Funko Pops. I was like, that's the way to go. I mean, there's a Funko for everybody. And I mean, uh, they're almost make every single person. Yeah. How many Funko Pops do you have in your store? In here, we have about 10,000 all the time. Uh, we just got some major pallets last week. So we probably are at about 11,000 right now, but they sell so fast and we bring them in so fast. And you all have a connection with the Guinness Book of World Record Holder, right? We do. Uh, one of our uh, favorite customers, Dave, um, it was like 2019, he came in one day. He never misses a Saturday, he comes in all the time. He comes in one day and starts buying these anime pops. And I, I was like, you watch an anime now? And he's like, well, no, I'm trying to go for the Guinness Book World Record. So even during the pandemic, he was still buying them, you know, online and stuff like that. And he's accumulated like almost 8,000 now. And that's the most that any private collection has in the entire world. So and that's right here in Knoxville. So. You know, if we're keeping notes at home, it's like we have, you know, Pops for Patients, which takes in all these, you know, Pops for kids. We have the biggest Funko shop in the Southeast. We have a mayor that has a Pop. And we have a guy who uh, has the world record here in Knoxville. So it's kind of like we're the, you know, the Funko, Funko yeah. capital of the U.S. Yeah, the Funko yeah. Pop capital of the world, man. Forget about being the U.S. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about Pops for Patients for a second. What is that program? Pops for Patients is, uh, is basically an organization here in Knoxville, uh, started by two people who have chronically ill children. They, um, they basically get donations from across the country and in multiple chapters across the country where um, people donate pops that they don't want. And then these guys organize the effort to take them to hospitals. People have been bringing in just buckets and buckets. Like my entire hallway is almost full, it's crazy. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's basically like, you know, they don't get anything out of it. It just all goes to the hospitals and it's just got guys that are doing it on their spare time and helping people out, so. When I was in college, I got into comic books. Um, I, was, I was a huge Thor fan, big Captain America fan. I like the X-Men. So a couple of years ago, my office started this Reads to the USA initiative, which really is designed to get younger people interested in reading. Not everybody's gonna pick up a novel or even a textbook and read it. What do you think about comic books, graphic novels, um, and things like that being a gateway to open up an entire world for kids? Well, especially right now, like Marvel, their superheroes have vulnerabilities and you know people can say hey i see a part of myself in that comic book uh, i know dc's been having some struggles lately because you know no one can really relate to superman anymore right. because nothing can stop him literally they've had 75 years of things trying to stop him and nothing's done it so right. they're getting kind of passed over so i mean i think a lot of people will connect more with characters that have you know some of the same struggles as everybody else. Right, well, because they're human. I mean, even though they might be in a different universe and they're superheroes, they still deal with the uh, issues that normal people do, non-superhuman people do. As far as I love comic books, you know, I love making those people happy, getting, you know, brand new readers into comics and, you know, get, getting them loving the stuff that I love because, you know, I'm an old comic book fan and, you know, I love the new movies coming out. It's, it's just great. Mike, thanks for your time and continued success with Tall Man Toys and Comics. Game of Thrones, Jon Snow is one of my favorite. Demi Gorgon, Stranger Things. This guy's pretty cool. Like him too. Cool.